What is up guys, this is Jerocraft back again for a quick Minecraft video where today I'm going to be doing a show around of two new buildings which you guys have been requesting for quite some time. The first building is a new version of a Minecraft medieval church and I did do a similar build quite some time ago but as you can see it's kind of gothic, very fantasy style. It's not really what I was aiming for. This new build though is a building which I will be doing a tutorial video on so check this out and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe Right guys, so there you go, that is the new version of the Medieval Minecraft Church. Leave your comments below, give me some feedback, I'd appreciate it, and I will be doing a tutorial video on that as soon as I can. Now this building does have an interior, I'll go ahead and show you that in just a second, but first I'm gonna go and show you the new Medieval Mansion, which you guys have been requesting for quite some time. The interior though, for this particular build, isn't really done, but I'll go ahead and give you an exterior show around right away. Check this out. Right guys, so here we have both new buildings, the medieval mansion and the medieval church. As I said before, the interior for the mansion isn't actually done. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do a tutorial video on this, but if you guys really, really want it, I'll, I'll consider it. It's just the roofing is so complicated and the building is absolutely huge. I was thinking though of actually doing a tutorial video on the tower, give it a couple of changes, call it a mage tower, add an enchanting room right here somewhere. and at least we'll make good use of the tower so let me know what you think in the comments below as for the church this does have an interior so i'm going to go ahead and give you a show around of that right away right then let's make our way inside and check out this gloomy dark looking church as you can see it's kind of lit up mainly by redstone torches i wanted to give it that effect but it was so dark that i just had to add a bit of glowstone it's right there at the top um, but yeah we have the altar here with both candles and the pressure plate for the person priest you know to preach to its um, people <laughs> yeah um, as you can see the benches are made up with gate and obviously jungle wood uh, stairs um, so that that's just an idea um, for the corners here I didn't really know what to add because you know we don't really have any statues so I just added these um, candle stands right in each corner on both sides and um, if we make our way through the back here we do have access to the upper floors where we have the living quarters for the priest right then so let's make our way up the staircase and I'll show you the living quarters for the priest now this is all kind of very small uh, not a lot of space up here seeing as it's just a tower but as you can see we got a small kitchen area got a couple of books over here uh, chair that is pretty much it but up the ladder to the next level we have the bedroom and obviously this is where the priest will sleep and that's pretty much it um, up to the next level we have the bell tower now for some reason these are supposed to be hoppers but they've somehow glitched and they look wooden I don't even know why it's supposed to be metal to kind of represent a bell but yeah guys that is pretty much the interior for this church Right guys, so once again, as I said before, the mansion has no interior, but I'll give you a show around of just how massive this building is. There's so much space for all your survival needs, because the idea is that you have this huge mansion with all your necessities for surviving, surviving, <laughs> surviving in a normal Minecraft world. You've got this huge fireplace for the living quarters, you'll have bedrooms, you'll have storage, and um, there's also this perfect space for an enchanting room right at the top of this tower which is right here this is just a, just perfect amount of space for a enchanting room now 
the idea is, as I said, um, to have the perfect survival mansion. So I will do an interior for this particular build and I'll give you a separate show around if you guys so wish. So just leave a comment below of what you guys think and I'll get back to that. Right then, so that is pretty much everything for today's video. Stay tuned though because I do have some new medieval miniature style houses coming up next as well as some hobbit style homes which I'm sure you guys will be interested in as it's been mentioned in the comments a bunch of times. So thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. This is Jerocraft over and out.